So, you are interested in an easy way to add auth to your project, huh? The state of authentication in 2025 web development brings us a wide range of options. But among them, one package stands out, not just for its ease of implementation, but also for the powerful features it brings to the table. In today's video, we'll explore how effortlessly you can integrate the better auth package into your next.js project. We'll be leveraging a free Neon database alongside Prisma to handle our user authentication in a scalable and efficient way. Whether you're building a simple app or a production-ready SaaS platform, this guide will help you get started in no time. Let's dive in. First we need to head to the Versal and go to the Storage tab, then scroll and create a Neon database. Choose your preferred region, name your database and click Create. Now, launch VS Code and create a project using T3 app or any other starter you want. We need to install Prisma with Prisma Client and BetterAuth package to make it all work. Then, I'm initializing ShedCN in order to have predefined components. Head back to the Versal and copy the ENV settings from the database settings and paste them into your ENV file in the project. Also create the BetterAuth secret key and host URL in ENV file. Next, we need to initialize Prisma. In the lib folder, create auth.ts file. Then create better auth object and for now integrate with newly created Prisma client. Head back to the console and run Prisma generate command with allow no models flag to ignore the empty schema we now have. Then run the npx command to generate better auth schema and click Y on your keyboard. Now we see that Prisma schema has been generated, so now we can run Prisma db push command to create tables in our Neon database. As we can see now we have tables already created in our Neon database. Go back to the lib folder and create prisma.ts file where we put our Prisma connection which we can copy from Prisma Docs website. Now, replace the current Prisma variable with the newly created Prisma database connection. In the BetterAuth object, we can define many methods to sign in, but for now we will handle email and password authentication. Then, we need to create an API route with to Next.js handler from BetterAuth to make the authentication system work. Now again in the lib folder, create authclient.ts file where we will define the authentication system for the client components in Next.js. If you have initialized ShedCN earlier, now we can add button and input components to our project to make it look nicer. Now is the moment to create a sign up component where we will put form with inputs and submit button to handle account creation for our users. Create a component with a form inside it. and add username, email and password input with the required attribute. Then add the sign up button. Next create one new state object with email, name and password properties to handle state management of the inputs.
create a sign up function and import the auth client from client version of the better auth which we already created earlier. Pass the form data into email function. and at root change on the success event. You can also handle error with on error event. Now add on submit function to the form. and create function to handle input changes in our form and then add the on change handler with this function. To the handle input change function, pass the name and value properties from input element type object. Then, create a sign up page where we will import our component into it. In the sign up component, add the use client at the top of the file and don't forget to prevent default functionality in the form before launching the sign up function. Now we can see that we have our sign up form with inputs and submit button and when we will fill the inputs we are being redirected to the sign in page but we don't have it created at the moment. In the sign up component add the use transition hook to handle loading states properly so we can copy all the functionality later to the sign in component. Create sign in component and copy all the code from sign up component, but change the naming, remove name property from use state hook object. And add callback URL into the email function in sign in function and remove the router.push function. Then, create the sign in page and import the sign in component into it. Now we can see that in sign in page, when trying to log in into our previously created account, we are being redirected to the dashboard page. But for now we don't have it created. So head back to the project and create the dashboard page. And at check from the server version of the better auth object with current headers if the user is already logged in with get session function.
If not, redirect him to the sign-in page. Now create the client component where we will put our dashboard content. Add use client at the top to mark it as client component. And import client version of the better auth object. And use the use session hook to check for the user details. You can also add the sign out button with the sign out function provided by the auth client. And as we can see, now after we log in, the dashboard page is present without username and sign out button. Thank you for watching my tutorial, if you liked it, consider subscribing to my channel and hit the like button, see you later.